In this video, we're going to make some advanced UI things in Xcode using IB inspectable and IB designable. Okay, how are we going to use this? Well, let's see. Let's say we have this nice app. I created a blank uh, single view project like this. The storyboard is blank like this. If you run the app, it's very much blank. But let's say we want to create our own custom UI component. So let's say we would like to make a very nice kind of special button. So let's say we want to make our own special kind of button here, like this. And we want this special kind of button to be, let's see, let's give it a background like this. Let's give it a light gray background. Very nice button. Like this, if we run this. Like this, we get this, all right? But now let's say our special kind of button, we would like a with a rounded corner. All right, how can we do this? If we take the button and check over here, we have nothing about rounded corners like this. <laughs> so let's say we want to make our own. We could do, do an outlet for the button and encode, say, change that button's um, properties to say that it's got rounded corners. But, however, let's say we want to make this a component that we use throughout our app. That would mean that we have to copy that code everywhere. So instead, let's say we want a new file, a new Cocoa Touch class of subclass of UI button. So let's say, let's make our own class here that we will call, and this is a special button type, like this. This is a special button. All right. So this is our type, like this the special button and let's say hey button I want you to be of type special button like this what we can do now now I've cheated a little bit I have this so I can paste it in what we can add now is an IB inspectable kind of thing. Setting, here's the variable corner radius. Now we have like this, that if it's set, we can set the corner radius to this value for the button. For the buttons corner radius, let's set this. Mask to bound if the corner radius is set. And let's also give it a border width <clears throat> and it defaults to zero but we can set it. What does this mean? This means that in the storyboard now we got up here corner radius, corner width. So if I were to say now let's add this, let's give it some corner radius and border width like this. And let's run this. Like this. And we got corner radius and we got a corner um, uh, a, also a border width. We can also if we copy this Copy and let's say let's give it a border color of type UI color 
like this and let's default it to UI color dot black and now let's say if it did set let's set border color to this border color they don't have to be the same name and let's give it a warning it needs to be as a CG color dot CG color and now we can select this and now we get a border color here as well because it's a UI color we get a color picker so let's say hey I want a red border like this well that's great now we can set these like this and let's say if I copy paste this now let's have another one of type special button but I would like to have corner radius let's see if I take this and just set it by hand with 80 height 80 let's click let make it a square and let's set corner radius to half of that 40 that will mean that it's going to be a circle and let's just give it a green just to give it a different kind of properties like this now we have a round button here and we have this here we can easily set these but now if we look at these we just see the squares like this and sure we can run it and we will get to see the result but however we would really like to be able to see directly in here what's happening. This is where this was the IB inspectable. But if we say here in the class, let's say let's say this is IB designable for the class. What happens then is that. This happens directly. This means that the interface builder here tries to create these things. So if I were to drag in a button here, a normal button, and let's give it a background like this, and I decide, no, I want it to be a special button and I would like it to be a corner radius like this I can see this happening instantly so in this way I can have a a um, a uh, reusable component now let's see here, we got the inspectable here, corner radius. Let's say, what if we were to give this a um, another kind of thing here. Let's give it a kind of um, let's say, let's give it a property called alert button of type bool default it to no let's let default it to false what we can do here and say if if it's alert an alert button and let's give it some uh, let's say let's give it a layer um, let's give it a background color UI color dot red and let's give it just to give it some give it some properties
So this is, if it's an alert button, it should be a, it should be red. The corner radius should be, uh, let's say 10, mask to bound, true, border width should be three, and the border color should be, uh, let's give it a black color like this. Else, if it's not an alert button, uh, the background should be green. And sure, we can just keep the other thing. So red or green button based on if it's an alert or not. Let's just comment these things out for now. So this way, we can say here, now it rebuilds these. We can say here, hey, an alert button. Are you an alert button? Yes. Now it's red. Are you an alert button? No. And this way we could easily set up and let's say, let's have a common UI button type and then just have some templates. Let's say, are you, which type are you? And let's just have a few templates. So this is a great way to make uh, reusable components that we can use uh, throughout our app. So we can, don't have to enter the same code in different places and we can see the result directly in the interface builder. Thank you. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, there will be more videos coming up in a while.